Hello everybody, I am really miss you a lot. I hope you're all safe and sound and healthy. Please take care of yourselves. Uh, of course, I know we're starting uh, a new uh, way of uh, learning. Uh, so I really hope you will benefit from it and uh, you will be able to manage and I'm sure you will be able to manage. Then uh, Coloco are quite smart. Uh, it's me who is really missing interacting with you and I'm telling you that I'm very happy and when I see the eyes that you have all the time you will learn and you will learn and you will learn and you will learn وان شاء الله الفترة دي تعدي علينا ونبقى كلنا healthy and safe دلوقتي هنبتدي اللي احنا وقفنا عنده اخر مرة ببتدي حتى بدر شوية كنا already covered في اخر مقابلة قابلناها مع بعض اخر محاضرة قابلنا فيها وشوفنا قد uh, ايه uh, it's useful ان الامبلوير او الفيرم تبقى قادره تحدد المينيمم نمبر اوف ليبر ذات ات ويل هاير اند ذا ماكسيمم ات كود هاير وقلنا ان ده بيدينا الزون اوف برودكشن اللي هي الفيرم ما ينفعش ان هي تقول انا اي ويل هاير ليس ذان ا سيرتن نمبر لان ليس ذان ذس نمبر بيبقى معناها ايه؟ معناها ان انا I'm losing the opportunity in that I'm losing the efficiency that all the labor I'm doing by hiring a worker. Too much the efficiency that the labor is losing, with efficiency that the other input which is capital is losing. If I'm not sure, I shouldn't stop. So we can say in stage one, this stage, even if I'm the marginal product, it starts declining, but the average is still increasing. If I should continue, right? وبعد كده بنروح لل end of stage two اللي هي our zone of production بنقول بعدها the firm shouldn't hire any worker لأن بعدها معناها إن أنا adding a worker decreases the efficiency of the labor with the capital coming يبقى my zone of production تبقى it's in the middle اللي هي النقطة اللي عندها بقول do not hire less than this والنقطة الأخيرة فيها هي do not hire more than this يبقى زون اوف برودكشن بيبقى بسبب إن أنا عندي one of my inputs اللي هو الكابيتال adding a worker increases the efficiency بتاعت الكابيتال يبقى why should I stop؟ صح؟ لأن ممكن الزيادة في الإفشنسي بتاعت الكابيتال تبقى more than offsetting the decrease اللي حصل في الإفشنسي بتاع الليبر مع بداية الستيج دي فعشان كده بنقول الفيرم هتبقى بتقابلها this zone of production وبتختار جواها a point that maximizes its profit okay أخذنا برضو ال perfectly competitive seller وننساش إن أنا دايما طالما بكلم عن labor و labor is Uh, demand for labor is derived from demand for the product. If I'm not talking about the labor market and and stop, la da ana talking about labor market. Wa andi kaman the product market hai asar alaya. Wa bittali ana ba bossa ala product market shaklu e. Ba bossa ala labor market shaklu e. Wa akhna akhi mara the product market lo kain fi perfect competition. If the firm is a price setter. وافترضنا برضو ان الليبر ماركت في بيرفكت كومبيتيشن يبقى الفيرم از ا ويج تيكر سوري اي جاست سيد سمثينج رونج اي سيد الفيرم از ا ويج سيتر نو ذا فيرم از ا ويج تيكر اند ذا فيرم از ا برايس تيكر نوت ا برايس سيتر Okay, now we will take uh, the imperfectly competitive seller. Is a masan a monopolist? Where low and handy imperfect competition in the product market. If the assumption be the price taker, 
is no more there but that if Andy a price setter then the monopolist is they meant to uh, get the highest possible price in the market and it will be the market for example uh, and uh, 15 units of uh, output they uh, when he hires four workers فلو هو عايز يبيع 15 يونت اوف اوتبوت هي تشيكس ذا ماركت مثلا ليتس سي ان هو ابتدى ب 3 دولار بير يونت وشاف انه مش هيقدر يبيع غير 10 يونت هيقف عند 10 يونت ويقول مش هبيع الباقي فهيقول ايه طيب يبقى انا اقلل السعر شويه واشوف لو كان اذرز بي ويلينج تو باي فقلل السعر سي داون تو 2.8 لقى برضه نفسه ايه انه مش عارف يبيع بقى عنده 2 يونت مش عارف يبيع هيضطر ينزل السعر تاني لغاية ما بيوصل لـ a price a certain price of uh, 2.6 مثلا وساعتها يقول ايه ده الـ highest possible price اللي هقدر ابيع بيه all my 15 units وبالتالي لو حب يبيع more than the 15 units what he has to do he has to lower the price again فيبتدي برضه to check the market to يشوف هيقدر يبيع uh, at the ايه من الـ 27 units كل ما يقلل السعر ولاقي نفسه وصل لغاية 2.4 دولار بير يونت عشان يقدر يبيع all the 27 units. We're assuming here إن هو عنده إيه؟ عنده a market وعنده a certain level of output عايز يبيعه. We're assuming إن مفيش price discrimination مش معنى إن أنا كان عندي 15 units of output هقدر أبيعهم ب 2.6 إن أنا I will charge those 2.6 or I'll charge the others. 2.4 لا I have to sell all the 27 units including the previous 15 units and 2.4 okay طيب with this I'm saying what I'm saying and the price is no more constant صح وبالتالي ده معناه ان ان this price is no more the same as the marginal revenue and the marginal revenue is not my MRP the marginal revenue ده per unit of output sold وبالتالي I'm talking here about labor hired فبشوف ال output بتاع ال fourth worker وال output coming by adding the fifth worker وصل لكام and so on وبالتالي I don't have information about each unit لما ببيعها ال marginal revenue بتاعها بيطلع ايه لان ال price is not is changing and the perfect competition price كان زيه زي ال MIR كان زيه زي ال marginal revenue ان كل ما ببيع an extra unit ببيعها بالسين برايس فا it adds its price وبالتالي كنا بنقدر نحسب ال MRP using either a change in total revenues over change in labor or MR times MP هنا عشان انا عندي monopoly وبالتالي price is not constant Well, MR is not my MP and if I don't have information about the MR ها ومش هقدر اشوفها بتاع الفيفت وركر ما ممكن ال 27 يونتس دولت ال ام ار كان عند يونت نمبر 17 مختلف عن اليونت نمبر 18 اند سو اون يبقى بالتالي اي كانت تشوز ال ام ار تايمز ام بي لان ما عنديش يونت باي يونت واقدر اقعد احسب بقى في الاخر هيطلع لي كام يبقى ال ام ار بي في الحالة دي the best way to calculate it هي ان انا اشوف ال change in total revenues over change in labor عشان كده لو بصينا هنا I have to find my total revenue okay don't forget I said there is no price discrimination وبالتالي ال total revenue هيبقى عبارة عن sales price times the total product ف for the fourth worker a total revenue is coming by hiring the fourth worker can it 39 And when I hired the fifth worker, I output the 27 units, and I started to sell at a lower price of 2.4 for then 64.8. Or has had the total revenue score. Has you by changing total revenue, ma hiring each additional worker, for the last to be 25.8, 14.4, and so on. Like it, ma sold the ninth worker, and like it, ha bade it be negative. Halakh is a very important thing. Ana lau. If you go back to the table, 
بتاع perfectly competitive product market ما وصلتش لنيجاتيف ده عند النايس وركر يبقى ده معناها ان انا بضطر ان انا ابيع ات لور برايس والحكايه دي بتخلي الام ار بي بتاعي يوصل لنيجاتيف بسرعه ويقل faster than under perfect competition that's the first observation another important information uh, here that you should take into consideration and Nana if you observe the MRP will VMP will go uh, and there's another table uh, here I have the table next to you best to show you the difference a perfectly competitive seller or imperfectly competitive seller with the amount in units of uh, labor hired with total revenues the perfectly competitive seller مختلفين عن المونوبوليست والام ار بي ما وصلش للنيجاتيف رغم ان هو وصل للنيجاتيف اندر مونوبولي ذس سلايد ام جاست اكسبلين تو يو الايديا بتاعت الام ار بي از نوت ايكوال تو ذا في ام بي اند واي انا اوريدي اكسبلين ات خلاص على التيبل بس اتس ريتن في اللكشر سلايد اند كوشن وين يو وونت تو ريفايز ات بس اتس اوريدي اكسبلين اون ذا تيبل سو ويل جامب Now to the graph with the short-run labor demand under imperfect competition in the product market. Now, here's the aim: to take my wage rate or quantity of labor to construct my demand curve. We have seen before that the labor demand curve is the MRP curve. For example, the MRP curve is really the blue line, and for the VMP, we see that we are always higher than the MRP. صح بالفرق بتاع البرايس والريفينيوز فبالتالي المونوبوليست هيجي هيحدد الامبلويمنت ليفل بتاعه عند البروفيت ماكسيمايزنج بوينت اللي عندها المارجنال ريفينيو برودكت از ايكوال تو ذا مارجنال ويج كوست طب هو كمونوبوليست Does he care about what goes to the society? A seller, a seller, not only the monopolist. He only cares about his own revenues. And he uses his MRP. He doesn't use the VMP. For a labor demand curve is his MRP curve. Well, if I said that I'm having perfect competition in the labor market, if the marginal wage cost is the same as the wage, they may consider to help you, or it looks like the wage is not changed, but. Right, the firm is still a wage taker. If the wage in the market, for example, was determined at 1.8, if the firm has to sell at what at this 1.8, sorry, not to sell, it has to hire labor at this 1.8. For example, the 1.8 will assume to as a horizontal line, right, to show that the wage has not changed with any change in employment by this firm. We have reached the point when the firm will maximize its profit, and the note that the wage equal to the MRP. If the wage is 1.8, this monopolist will hire eight workers. Tab lo kano monopolist da perfectly competitive seller. Kano the MRP curve hai ba zayu zay the VMP fa iruh le red. Curve that V and P and on they are equal, and if this had happened, the firm would would have hired at the, for example, nine workers instead of only eight. So here we found in the labor demand curve for an imperfectly competitive firm, which is its M R P, is less elastic than that for a perfectly competitive firm. As a result, they will always be hiring fewer workers than. The perfectly competitive seller, of course, other things equal same assumption of Satter's Paris. Tab less elastic. This will take us to the idea of what do I mean by elasticity? I I'm sure you all took the idea of elasticity of labor of demand before, but we will look at it from a labor point of view. And if you look at elasticity and it had diamond, it's what. It's a sensitivity of quantity of labor demanded to a change in the wage. Well, and I just show the firm the wage Z or wage L. How will it respond? In a relationship between wage, well, employment is always what 
a negative relationship there's a trade off ما بين الاثنين فبالتالي لو الويج زاد الفيرم ويل هاير ليس ليبر يبقى انا عايز اشوف الفيرم دي هتغير الامبلويمنت ليفل بتاعها او ليبر ديماندد بقد ايه لو هي مور ذان تشينج ان ذا ويج يبقى اه ده الفيرم از فيري سنسيتيف يعني اي زياده في الويج هتاثر عليها جامد وتخليها تو هاير very uh, to higher much less than before بس برضو هنلفت نظرنا ان احنا we always use ال mid point formula and we ignore the sign لان العلاقه ما بينهم is inversely related بس احنا we ignore the sign you just look at one more than one less than one regardless of the sign فهم هي the sign خالص برضو في عندي problem في percentage calculations اللي هي what we call the reversibility problem عشان كده the economists use the midpoint formula this reversibility problem بتقولي ايه لو انا بقول ال wage مثلا زاد from 5 to 10 يبقى معناها انه زاد by 100% it doubled صح لكن لو قل من 10 to 5 هي نفس التشينج اهو 5 workers مشوا بدل ما 5 workers قعدوا هنلاقيها معناها ان ايه 50% اون فقالوا احنا وي ونت عشان ذيس بروبلم وي ويل يوز ذا ميد بوينت فورميلا وهتضيع لي الفكره دي عشان كده they take a percentage change in quantity of labor demand عباره عن التشينج ان كوانتيتي اوفر سم اوف كوانتيتيز ديفايدد باي 2 اند اي ديفايد اول ذيس باي البرسنتج تشينج ان ذا ويج وهحسبه برضه يوزنج الميد بوينت فورميلا اللي هي تشينج ان ويج على سم اوف ويجز ديفايدد باي 2 لو طلع لي الاستيستي كوفيشنت مور ذان 1 يبقى ذاتس اليستيك ليفر ديماند يبقى البرسنتج تشينج ان ويج ذاتس ان ا لارجر برسنتج تشينج ان كوانتيتي معناها الفيرم از فيري سنسيتيف وعايزه تقلل ال number of labor لأن زيادة ال wage أثرت عليها جامد لو كانت less than one يبقى it's inelastic يبقى بالتالي percentage change in wage is smaller than percentage change in uh, results in a smaller percentage change in quantity ولو كانت equal to one that's what that's what we call unit elasticity يبقى معناها percentage change in the wage results in the same percentage change in quantity Uh, هنرسم عايزين نشوف شكل شكل ال labor demand curve هيتأثر ازاي بال elasticity فهنلاقي دايما ان ال ال labor demand when it's elastic ال curve بتاعها هيبقى بيقول لي فعلا ان any change in the wage results in a bigger change in quantity فلو انا ابتديت عند a wage of 8 وال firm hires 5 workers لو ال wage زاد to 12 The firm will respond to this by going to a lower employment level, hiring only two workers. Imagine three workers. Look at the difference. Maybe a change in the wage from eight to twelve will big difference in the quantity. Five down to two. Now, can inelastic? Hey, the shape of the monster. There's a red. curve وهنلاقي ان ال wage لو كان 8 the firm will hire 5 بس at a wage of 12 the firm will lower its employment level but by a smaller amount it will lower by only one worker it will go down to four workers uh, we want to use this example here uh, to just give you an idea about how we calculate how we apply a midpoint formula فهناخد ال labor demand curve which is elastic وهنشوف how we measure the elasticity coefficient. فناخد the change in quantity percentage change in quantity of our change in quantity quantity أول نية كانت five صح نزل down to two فيبقى عندي change five minus two is three. Well some of the two quantities اللي هي the five with two five add up. A new quantity will old quantity five plus two and I divide it by two. There are actually eighty six percent change. A percentage change in the wage. I am in the same way. My old wage was eight. My new wage is twelve. Found the wage Z by four. Twelve minus four and I divide twelve minus eight. Sorry, five times four. We have to look at some of the two wages. 
8 by 12 by 20 divided by 2, then 40 percent. When I divide by a percentage change in quantity, a percentage change in the wage, height alignment and elasticity coefficient of 2.15, which means it's more than one. Yeah, but this is elastic labor demand for uh, this firm. You will do the same, do the same exercise, but do it like example with any in elastic, do it yourself, okay? The money in of a certain type of labor. من غير ما حس إلا لو حسبت بال coefficient. So they said actually we can use the total wage bill to give us uh, an idea or to assess the wage elasticity of demand. دائما لما بيحصل change in the wage نفترض إن ال wage increased. This increase in the wage بتأثر على ال wage bill. The wage bill أصلا عبارة عن إيه؟ about annual wage rate times the quantity of labor hire, which is W times Q. يبقى بالتالي أنا عارفة إن ال relationship ما بين ال wage وال quantity is a negative relationship. يبقى لو ال wage زاد بيقول لي إيه؟ إن ال firm هتمشي labor، صح؟ فلو مشيت labor ده هيقلل ال wage bill. إن كان عندي مثلا five workers بقى عندي only two، صح؟ لكن في نفس الوقت remaining two هياخدوا a higher wage بدل ما كانوا بياخدوا كل واحد eight هياخدوا twelve فحاجة بتزودها وحاجة بتقللها depending on which one will be stronger I can determine the elasticity لأن لو كان the net effect بيقول لي إن the quantity of labor higher decreased too much يبقى the negative effect على the wage bill is too strong. يبقى بتالي a wage increase هيقلل ال wage bill لأن الزيادة اللي هتحصل في ال wage bill بسبب ال higher wage it's gonna be applied على a few number of workers. ده حاجة. والحاجة التانية أنا مشيت ناس كتير أوي فالناس كتير اللي مشيت من عندي في الشغل دولت وفرت ال uh, ال wage أو ال wage أو ال salary بتاعتهم. Okay. يبقى بتالي ال wage bill هتقل فلو فعلا زيادة ال wage resulted in a lower wage bill يبقى معناها ان انا ال response بتاعي كان very strong and I was very sensitive and I laid off a lot of labor, right? يبقى just looking at the wage bill will give me this result. Let's apply the idea دي على ال elastic labor demand ال example اللي احنا اخدناه اللي هو labor demand curve 1 وهنشوف ال change in the wage عملت ايه في ال wage bill دايما بيقولوا لو هو elastic هتروح in opposite direction إن هما they are negatively related يبقى زيادة ال wage لو هنشيد ناس كتير will result in having a lower wage bill ف for our labor demand curve DL1 لو wage كان 8 وال quantity of labor demanded 5 يبقى total wage bill عبارة عن quantity times wage 8 times 5 كانت $40 جيت عند ال wage الجديد it increased from 8 to 12 right? حصل إيه؟ مجرد ما الويج زاد الفيرم مشت 3 workers out of the 5 اللي كانوا عندها وبقى عندها only 2 workers left right؟ يبقى الويج بيل نقصد بقد إيه؟ ال 3 workers اللي مشوا كان كل واحد بياخد 8 dollars فالنقصد ب 24 dollars وفي نفس الوقت ال increase in the wage rate خلى ال 2 remaining workers اللي عند الفيرم يبقى كل واحد بياخد 4 more يبقى 4 times 2 is 8 يبقى ال 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 side بتاع ال increase in the wage increase the wage bill by 8 لكن اللي مشوا 3 workers كان كل واحد بياخد 8 فانا قصيتها ب 24 يبقى ال negative is more than the positive عشان كده I ended up in ان ال wage bill falls by 16 dollars okay يبقى that's a, an elastic demand for labor for an inelastic demand for labor uh, you will do the same thing. Uh, I, I'm not. I'm not explaining it. I just want you to do it yourself. Yeah, and try to exercise it and see what you did. Phil, 
elastic labor demand هتعملوه في ال inelastic وهتشوفوا فعلا it will go in the same direction or not لأن هنا it will go in the same direction لأن ال wage لو زاد مش الفيرم مش هتمشي ناس كتير عشان عندها ان الاستيك ديماند فلما ما مشيتش ناس كتير يبقى تاثيرها على زياده الويجز از ريلي هاي فور ا نمبر اوف ليبر ولما جت مشيت مشت واحد او حاجه فالواحد ده هو بس الويج بتاعته لو نقصت فما اثرش كتير بالنيجاتيف على الويج بير عشان كده يو اند اب جوينج ان ذا سيم دايركشن ا ويج انكريس انكريسز الويج بير اند Accordingly, this is inelastic demand for. La ho can unit elastic. Iba maneha ay change in the wage. Hay kahit wage bill unchanged. El in the percentage change pa the wage zay ha zay percentage change in quantity. Fa they offset each other. Fa biyda the wage bill as yes. Why are we taking all that time to study elasticity? It's just because elasticity is really important. Policy makers uh, need to know information about it. all stakeholders. Leo my lack of the labor market will wage changes with the Sahara and employment will be interested in such a thing. Finally, most of the public and private policies are really affected by this wage rate employment trade off. If I, if I increase the wage, I will lose some employment opportunities, right? عشان uh, increasing wage reduces the labor demand. وبالتالي I have to think quite well before asking for a wage increase. هناخد مثلا ال policy makers هما بيحددوا ال minimum wage. Okay. زيادة ال minimum wage انتوا عارفين ال minimum wage عندنا زاد لكام؟ 1200 بعد كده بقى 2000 وعارفين برضو ان هو كان in the past قبل التغييرات الأخيرة دي فضل 36 دولارز سوري 36 باوندز يا ريتهم كانوا دولارز يعني تختلفت الدنيا صح؟ uh, كان 30 كان 36 وقعد كده من الستينات من ايام uh, قانون ما اتحط ايام جمال عبد الناصر فضل مستمرين عليه سايبينه باي لا عند 36 لغايه ما من فيو ييرز غيروا الويج ريت ورفعوه ل 1200 بعد كده ب 2000 طيب انا بقى كبوليسي ميكر انا بحط ساتش A decision. We have to find minimum wage in the amount. I have to find the minimum wage. The goal of the essence of the minimum wage is that I want to alleviate poverty. I'm trying to understand. 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 With next what, I want more people getting unemployed, right? With this sub, for example, the خلا بعد القطاع الخاص يرفض the minimum wage. They say we're not going to change the law. Like the printing industry, for example, they have most of their labor are either unskilled or semi-skilled. وبالتالي هما دولة الفئات بتبقى متغطية بال minimum wage. فلاقوا ان هم لو رفعوا المينيموم ويج هم اكيد ما كانوش بيدوا 36 كان بيدوا اعلى بس ما كانوش بيدوا ال 1200 ولا ال 2000 الجديده يبقى بالتالي انا بقول له انت بترفع البرودكشن كوست بتاعك جدا صح؟ وانا فاتحه المع... الماركت بتاعي انا عندي كمان ايه؟ انا عندي فري آه تريد فبقدر ان انا ادخل اي منتج من بره وبي كومبيت معايا فبالتالي هما لقوا ان ده ويل ريلي ميك ذيم لوز ذا كومبتيتيف ايدج وعشان كده قالوا لا احنا ما نقدرش نطبقه لو طبقناه الاند ريزالت هتبقى ان احنا يا اما هنعمل داون سايزنج جامد للليبر بتاعنا يا اما ان احنا ويل شت اب كومبليتلي وفي الحالتين العماله ويل لوز ذير جوبز عشان كده I need to study such a thing. That's one thing. طبعا ناخد another thing where elasticity is very important. عشان كده هم they know ان لو كان a demand for labor is inelastic and الفرم مش تقدر تمشي الناس اللي عندها يبقى I raise the minimum wage زي ما انا عايز. صح؟ لكن لو كان elastic هيحصل عندي a big employment loss. Another example 
هو فكرة ال programs providing wage subsidies to employers hiring disadvantaged workers. Disadvantaged workers. أحيانا بيبقى في بعض الناس they are considered disadvantaged in a certain society. Will employers do not want to hire them? فتيجي الغورمنت لا هي عايزة تحقق لهم ال equal chance مع غيرهم. فتبتدي تطلب من الشركات انها تغير to hire them. لو انا اصلا ك employer I don't want to hire from this disadvantaged group for any reason whatever the reason is يبقى I will not hire him بنفس الويج زي تاني. فتيجي الحكومة تقول ايه طب لو انت you hired من this disadvantaged group أنا هدي لك a wage subsidy بمعنى لو كان ال wage بتاع a certain job مثلا ten dollars you pay only seven وأنا هدي لك ال three dollars دولت يعوضوا لك الفرق فيبقى it's a subsidy يبقى أنا ك employer بالنسبة لي بعتبر ال wage subsidy is a wage decrease right إمتى هيبقى such a program really efficient in achieving its target عشان تبقى effectively فعلا بتزود ال employment بتاع ال disadvantaged group يبقى ال demand لازم يبقى elastic the more it's elastic the more firms will respond to this wage subsidy by hiring more labor due to the wage decrease they are facing وهبقى حققت الهدف من such a pro another thing which is very important هي ال unions bargaining strategy لو فكرنا في اليونيون، اليونيون الهدف بتاعها ايه أساسا؟ إن هي طبعا تضمن حقوق العمال وتدي لهم مزايا أكتر وتحقق لهم زيادة في الويج بتاعهم، رايت؟ فالبارجينج بتاع اليونيون مع الفيرم عشان ترفع الويج ريت بتاع الممبرز بتاعها مربوط قوي بفكرة الإلاستيسيتي، لأن أنا برضو كيونيون زي زي الجفرمنت، أنا مش هفرح لما أنا أزود الويج ريت بتاع الناس اللي عندي، and at the same time I'm إيه؟ I'm making them losing their jobs. لأن لو كان ال demand for labor is elastic, يبقى مهما عملت أنا كيونيون وضغطت على ال firm, the firm will end up reducing the number of labor hired. فتقل ال employment level تح. For my members will become unemployed. لكن لو كان inelastic, when I know the firm مش هتقدر بسهولة تمشي الناس اللي عندها, يبقى أنا كيونيون أقدر أبقى بطلب a higher wage وأنا متطمن إن الناس مش هي مش هيخسروا ال jobs بتاعتهم، right؟ عشان كده ال bargaining power بتاعت ال union بتبقى much stronger لو أنا عندي inelastic demand for labor and the more inelastic it is the more I'm able to achieve اللي أنا عايزه وأرفع ال wage بتاعهم without having more unemployed people Well, bargaining power of that is a strong. Okay, now reaching this importance of elasticity tells me that what determines this elasticity. I'm aware of it, but it tells me the determinants of elasticity are related to many things: labor demand. It will always be more elastic. لو كان ال product demand more elastic. يبقى كل ما ال product demand itself was more elastic to change in prices. يبقى بالتالي ال ال demand for labor will also be more elastic. That mainly بسبب إن أي زيادة في ال price بتأثر على ال demand for the product. وبالتالي بت بتأثر عليه ميلي بسبب إنها بتأثر على ال ability and willingness to pay بتاعت الناس يبقى ال ال wage بيأثر على production cost ولو ال price اتغير ال price بي بي بيتأثر برضه بال production cost let's take as an example Let's assume in the wage nizzle. The wage nizzle has some a. The production cost set in, so, for better, all firms have to suffer from the reduction in the production cost to tell the 
البرايس بتاعها عشان تقدر تبيع اكتر فيبتدي ايوه من الاند اب ان كل كلهم هيبقوا ايه بيستفيدوا من الويج ريدكشن عشان يقللوا البرايس فالبرايس هيقل طب البرايس ده لما هيقل يبقى هيعمل ايه it increases the demand for this product قوي 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 لو كان elastic صح؟ يبقى بالتالي لو انا زودت the demand for the product يبقى ال output هيزيد لان عندي more demand عليه جامد لما ال output هيزيد اول حاجة تتغير هي ايه؟ ال variable input بتاعي برضه هيزيد and my variable input هنا labor يبقى I will hire a lot of labor more لكن لو كان inelastic يبقى ال product demand مش هيزيد قوي وبالتالي ال labor demand برضه مش هيزيد قوي to produce this عشان كده نقول انه both are so much related to each other um, another important thing here ان انا I need to differentiate ما بين ال short run وال uh, long run لأن دايما ال product demand دايما it tends to be more elastic in the long run وبالتالي ال labor demand برضه هيبقى more elastic in the long run طب why is product demand more elastic in the long run أول حاجة قالوا حاجة كلنا عارفينها إن usually consumers are creatures of habit I develop a habit to use a certain good for I cannot easily change my habit يعني imagine yourself uh, being used to drink uh, coffee every morning and the price of coffee increased will you immediately reduce your consumption of coffee? it will take me some time I develop a new habit of not drinking coffee maybe I use مثلاً tea بدل ولا كان tea relative price تاو cheaper right? changing habits takes place over a longer period of time than uh, in the short run of Italy, I will be more elastic in the uh, long run excuse me <coughs> okay. uh, another thing uh, another important uh, determinant of elasticity is a ratio of labor costs to your total costs uh, the larger the share of labor costs in total costs the greater will be the elasticity of labor demand بمعنى ان انا كل ما كان labor cost بالنسبه لي is really a big uh, proportion of my uh, production cost كل ما هياثر عليا جامد جدا right فبالتالي لفرض ان انا عندي two scenarios انا فرض uh, in scenario one the labor cost بتاعي 10% of my total production costs فلا our total production cost 3100 it means 10% يعني معناها 10 dollars a labor cost ولو a scenario 10 we only a labor cost is 50% يبقى معناها out of the 100 dollars total production cost I have 50 dollars labor cost طب لو gain wage increased by 10% ده معناها ايه and the total production cost BTA will increase by only one dollar for scenario الأولاني اللي عندي labor cost is only 10% وفي scenario تاني it will increase by five dollars right يبقى the impact on the price will be larger and if the price in the city of product demand كمان نفترض إنه ما تغيرش and we were taking each factor alone يبقى the demand for labor will be more elastic under scenario tool in أي زيادة في ال wage هتأثر عليا جامد جدا في ال production cost وبالتالي هتأثر على my ability to produce more right okay now we go to the substitutability of other inputs and its impact on elasticity لو بصينا على الفكرة بتاعت can I use labor instead of capital and capital inside of labor and the, I can substitute each one by the other كل ما كان عندي ability to substitute labor for capital and the opposite كل ما كان elasticity of labor demand will be high فلو الويج زاد for example وانا I can use capital instead of labor ولقيت ان ال, ال, ال relative price of 
labor, the rights become more expensive. If I will shift to capital, right? If I pay depending on the degree of substitutability, the response بتاعي هيتوقف. فبالتالي كل ما كان I'm able to substitute, كل ما كان هقدر I use capital instead of labor. فبالتالي the response بتاعي هيبقى قوي وهيبقى عندي more elastic labor demand. لكن لو ال price بتاع labor wage لما زاد لقيت ان انا ال production process بتاعي involves fixed proportions of capital and labor يعني لو انا عندي a certain machine it needs two workers and I have to hire the two workers فمهما ال labor بتاعي ال wage عالي بتاعه هضطر لازم اجيب التو وركس ومش هقول انا هستخدم انادر ماشين بي رايت يبقى بالتالي لو انا اخدت الاكزامبل بتاع مثلا ان اير كرافت عندي طياره اند فور ذس اير كرافت تو فلاي اي نيد تو بايلوتس في حاجه اسمها اقول انا انا هطلع الطياره بوان بايلوت دي حاجه معروفه اي كان نيفر ليت ا تراي Let a fly, sorry, an aircraft fly with only one pilot. Ha, أحياناً طبعاً we resort to automatic pilot حتى بس في الظروف ال ال القليلة جداً اللي ما ينفعش غير ده أعمل كده. لكن generally speaking, I have to have two pilots technically, and I can never fly an aircraft without the two pilots. يبقى هنا في substitution. Technically, substitution is impossible. And if this is the case, يبقى هنا The elasticity of labor demand is nearly in perfectly inelastic, right? Mahmoud and Rachel are pilots. Said I still have to hire the two pilots to call the aircraft. Okay. All of that I'm assuming is in the price of this substitutable input. The one I'm mumkin. I use it if there is substitution constant, right? The man. And I'm the only who can do it. أقول I will shift to capital لما الويج يزيد إن أنا ال capital ال price بتاعه عند a certain price بيخليني أخد such a decision لكن لو ال price بتاع ال capital راح يتغير هيحصل إيه؟ لو ال price بتاع ال capital هو كمان يتغير يبقى ممكن الفكرة بتاعت ال relative price ما بين ال labor وال capital اللي خليتني أقول عند a wage increase I will shift to capital مش موجود ف I will not shift to capital عشان كده ال supply elasticity of this other input like labor is very like capital is very important the greater the elasticity of supply of the other input for labor the greater will be The elasticity of labor demand. The whole mechanical supply between other input more elastic. All of that will affect the elasticity of labor demand. Is it? Let's do it again. Now I want you to do something. Get a piece of paper in front of you. Okay, I'll give you a second or two. Okay. Let's assume in a wage increases, and then the firms find in the capital becomes relatively cheaper. على price بتاعه الهوالي صح؟ وبالتالي this firm will demand more capital, better labor, and by doing so. I need to see what will happen to the price of capital. لما زاد الديماند علي. Now draw a graph for capital with the price of capital on your vertical axis and quantity on the horizontal axis. And I wanted to draw a supply curve that is perfectly elastic. Perfectly elastic means that it's a smooth horizontal line parallel to the x-axis. Then draw a demand curve for capital, negatively sloping, say a demand curve, and make it intersect with the supply curve at a point that I had to fiha, 
and determine the equilibrium price and quantity of capital. Okay, as you can show the impact of a wage increase on demand for capital. دلوقتي انا مش بتكلم على ال price of capital change صح؟ بتكلم على ال wage price of labor هو اللي change وقلنا if this happens the firms will hire less labor and more capital يبقى demand for capital increase يبقى هيحصل ايه؟ a shift لل capital demand curve upward to the right with this shift هيحصل ايه لل price؟ I'm having a perfectly elastic supply of capital in this horizontal line. If the price is the same, how much more than the demand, right? So we say in order that the firm will really decrease its employment level in response to an increase in wage, if the supply of the capital is Elastic, the perfectly elastic in price is the same as it was. So the thing that made me to shift from labor to capital is not good, and the capital is relatively cheaper by the middle wage side, right? But if it happens, and if the capital is less elastic, so instead of making a horizontal line, okay, the supply, we make a somewhat an upward sloping supply curve, okay? هيحصل ايه؟ هيتقابل مع ال ال higher demand curve اللي هو ال demand curve الجديد بعد ما زاد ال demand على capital at a higher price هيرفع ال price of capital فممكن الرفع بتاعة ال price of capital دي تخلي ال الفكرة بتاعة ال relative price بتاع labor و capital قصاد بعض no more there اللي خلتني I shift from labor to capital is no more there ولو رحت لل extreme case ورسمت The supply curve of capital as completely, perfectly inelastic. I say more a vertical line. Hello, it has higher or lower than 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 before. Kind of coming. So the price higher or lower. So here, the idea of it is that the higher wage. خلاني uh, I shift to capital عشان استفيد من الفرق في ال relative price بتاع labor و capital and capital كان دلوقتي relatively cheaper فده هيخلي ال price of capital الآخر يزيد ويزيد ممكن قوي لو كل الفيرمز تحولت لل capital ومش في demand على capital ومفيش supply responding to this increasing demand فهيرفع ال price بتاع capital يضيعلي الميزة اللي خلتني I wanted to shift to capital right يبقى بكده احنا قدرنا نعرف ان ال supply elasticity of the other input is very important in determining ال elasticity of labor demand. Now we go back to a long run demand for labor. احنا كلمنا عن فكرة بتاعت ال subsidiability. وإحنا قلنا إن ال in the short run capital is fixed يبقى ال substitutability دي مرتبطة شوية بال إيه بال long run right وقلنا برضو إن ال product demand مرتبط بال long run ال elasticity بتاعته كل ما رحت في ال long run كل ما بقى more elastic يبقى بالتالي أنا عايزة أبص في ال long run demand for labor بيحدده إزاي فبلاقي ال long run demand for labor is usually more elastic than in the short run. In any change in the wage, be talali two effects. Our ma biyasal be talali a short run effect, okay, which we call an output effect, or be talali the long run a substitution effect. The makarechi ma guda fi short run. Iba amali two effects elitin bi ululi use a different labor size. If the wage decreases هنشوف هيحصل ايه in the short run ف in the short run هيحصل لي output او scale effect اللي هو بيعمل لي ايه بيأثر لي على marginal cost بتاعتي ف marginal cost بتاعتي عند a certain wage level can mc1 this curve وجيت الwage لما هيقل هيقلل لي marginal cost ف I will go to mc2 
And the MC1 الفيرم maximizes its output and any nota and the nota اللي marginal cost equal to the marginal revenue. أنا ليه رسم هنا ال marginal revenue curve horizontal. Think it up. Because we are talking about a perfectly competitive seller, so he's a price taker. So the marginal revenue is the price, and it's constant, right? Type. If he will hire Q1 workers to maximize the output level, with him, get the marginal cost. The firm will equate maybe the new marginal cost, which is now lower. Okay. One row and the MC2. And the MC2 is the weighted output level from Q1 to Q2. That's the output effect. Okay? That is a short run. If a wage decrease results in increasing the output level, or if I increase the output level, I increase my employment level and the labor is the variable input. In the long run, it has a substitution effect. In the long run, a firm that can to respond to the decline in the weight to an Elam Haliba Sardam a lot of capital. Why don't they use more labor and benefit from this relatively cheap labor compared to my cup? In the short run, I will get machines around you all and I will get labor instead, right? But in the long run, but already Safatim machine or Sarap. Also, the end of its life time, or in that, so it has changed and has to give capital tiny that's less capital intensive. The man and I have to change from the production technique to a towards a technique that's more labor intensive. If I can, right? Or to I use more labor instead of capital. So let's see. A long run or short run labor demand curves. Here we have the short run demand curve, which is the green line. If we take the wage of W1, the firm will hire Q1 workers. If the wage is from W1 down to W2, this will make the firm increase its output level, and it will increase its employment level until it reaches Q2 rather than Q1. But in the long run, the firm has to take the appoint and the W one of hiring Q one workers. Has a short run, has to move the Q two, sa? But it will not stop there on the Q two. Then the firm now can substitute. Maybe in the labor capital in the long run, I can do this. So we tell you, it will move to point C. Not only to point B, where Bitelli it will start to use more labor instead of capital. So I had to assess the employment level to have Q1. I think that the blue line is more elastic than the green line. In the long run, I have higher elasticity of labor demand. And so far, we were talking about what an individual firm's labor demand curve. دلوقتي هادينا بص على الماركت بقى كله فتلوك على الماركت ديماند فور ليبر let's assume ان كل الفيرمز each individual firm is having its own labor demand curve و for simplicity هنا we will assume ان انا I'm having typical labor demand curves for all individual firms فلو هي الحكاية كده firm number one and a certain age of W1 will hire two workers firm number two will hire uh, two workers لو هي عندها same labor demand curve لو مختلف هيبقى it hires three or it hires one المهم ان انا هبتدي to add up كل ال demand بتاع individual firms ولو جمعتهم على بعض هقول عند a wage of W1 uh, all firms operating in this market and hiring this type of labor will hire a sum between uh, all individual firms. Okay? If I just a simple horizontal summation of individual labor demand curves, I tell a market demand. However, I have to pay uh, good attention here. In, in competitive product markets, the product price is assumed to be constant. This constantly means, from the viewpoint of 
an individual firm and at the firm I'm a price taker for uh, employment level or output level time is going to affect the price so I'm a price taker and I'll be facing the same price but if we're going to look at the whole market uh, it's different it, it's no more constant it's variable and you can see a graph like this and how it's going to be I'll show the graph the first one رسمت labor demand curve DL1 uh, for a single firm for an individual firm we all in this labor demand curve which is based on the MRP will is determined and a price of two okay right. low wage be taken W1 this firm will go to point C and it will hire Q1 workers right we low wage nizzle the W2 هيحصل ايه؟ هنشوف هنلاقي الفيرم will increase its employment level to Q prime 2 فلو رحت ل Q prime 2 I increased the employment level from Q1 to Q prime 2 طب لو انا عايزة اوصل لل market demand curve واحنا we are assuming I'm having identical labor demand curve يبقى عند W1 الفيرم الأولانية will hire Q1 workers الفيرم الثانية will hire Q1 workers عند Q1 G2 يبقى G2 will hire 2 والثانية 2 and so on if I add them up all together هيطلع لي summation بتاع Q1 اللي هي عند point C في الماركت ولو رحت ل W2 هلاقي الفيرمز will increase the employment level بتاعهم the Q prime 2 and the point E prime and the point E prime hiring Q1 uh, Q prime 2 workers by an individual firm all around 10 firms had a mahum alabad haitalali is summation to Q prime 2 and the point E capital E prime if I join the two points together but all in that's the simple horizontal summation in Nana but I'll be on market demand for labor. Like in Ahmed, we're assuming in all firms are operating in a perfectly competitive product market, right? Washington, they are all using the same price, the whole price of two. Like in the wage BL, yes, I mean, the wage BL, all the firm has to be under production cost per high L. So it will respond to this BL. We now have at a little price. ده من ناحية الناحية الثانية ان كل فيرم زودت الاوتبوت ليفل بتاعها فزيادة الاوتبوت ده هيأثر على السبلاي الموجود في الماركت فه it will take the price down ف it will take the price down to say 1.6 dollars وبالتالي ال MRP هيتأثر بال reduction in this price ف I will go to point E بدل E prime فبالتالي عند ال wage لما نزل down ل W2 Okay, خلى the price in the market ينزل down to 1.6. So بالتالي the MRP curve will shift downward. يبقى the firm هنا will hire more labor, بس more بعد إيه? From Q1 to Q2, not from Q1 to Q prime to the 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 employment level الفاضية ده. فعشان كده I have to consider the hassle of the price. وبالتالي عشان أطلع the labor demand curve بتاع the market كله. Uh, in a very precise way, I have to consider the adjustment in the price. The price is because of the price of wage, and we tell it will go to summation Q2, not summation Q prime two. So it will increase its employment level. It will increase it, but not as much as a simple horizontal summation. Let me be honest. Amen. As in case of the day, if you use a real market labor demand curve and it's diamond less elastic than the curve that you can derive by just having a simple horizontal summation of individual labor demand curves okay so we do the mechanism from w1 to w2 now i have a simple horizontal summation i will genie from summation q1 to summation q prime 2 like لو أنا عملت ال price adjustment اللي حصل هلاقيها زودوا لي from summation Q1 to summation Q2 only. Okay, it responded, but not as much as the simple horizontal summation is telling me. 
Uh, I'm continuing with you. That's more than one lecture. I, I, I never uh, cover all of that for one lecture. Okay? But I don't want to add the topic. So I have all of it in a file. And you can see it on your own pace. But it will be a topic for you all. So let's take a look at the whole part. We have finished the determinants of Elasticity of labor demand, and I think I'm sure it depends that the demand itself be had the same. For me, about the product demand be affected on the labor demand. We know it's derived. Then I know the change in product demand resulting in changing the product price. And, for example, demand high or low. For the higher the demand, the higher high affected on the price and higher the demand. صح؟ فبالتالي لو هو ات ريزد البرايس هيخلي الديماند فور ليبر يتأثر فعايزين نشوف أي تشينج ذات هابنز إن ذا برودكت برايس بسبب ال change اللي حصل في الماركت ديماند اوكي هنلاقيه دايما بيأثر لي على الديماند فور الليبر بسبب تأثيره على المارجنال ريفينيو برودكت اوكي يعني ليتس اسيوم ان انا حصل عندي ان uh, The demand for the product increased. The demand for the product when it increases, okay, had affected on the price of the product. And in turn, had definitely shifted the labor demand curve in the same direction. Then the MRP has it affected by the price. It's it's partly affected by the price. MRP is marginal revenue times marginal product. Well, MR is affected by the price, and it's even equal to it under perfect competition. If an MRP, the orbit asset by price, it will also affect the demand for labor, and my MRP curve is my demand for labor curve. فلو حصل إن أنا الـ price زاد زيادة الـ price بتاعت الـ product هتعمل لي إيه؟ هتخليني هتزود الـ MRP هترفع الـ MRP فلو الـ MRP اترفع يبقى معناها إن الـ demand for labor برضه هيترفع عشان كده we say it goes in the same direction طيب another thing is the productivity أنا my MRP هنا is MR times MP. If our productivity affects my MP, right? If we tell him, now the marginal product increases, when price is constant, the MRP changes in the same direction. يعني ال MP زادت. فجزء أي من ال MRP زادت والثانية في اللي زي ما هي ال MR. إذا هتزود ال MRP بتاعي كله إذا هتزود the demand for labor. لكن لو ال increase in productivity نتج عنه an offsetting decrease in the product price بمعنى ايه؟ ان انا uh, uh, ال productivity بتاعت ال labor بتاعتي زادت اوي فانا كنت بعين one worker بيطلع لي 10 units of output بقى ال output زاد فبقى يطلع لي uh, 15 units of output فبالتالي ال cost بتاعه هيقل عليا فيخليني اقدر ايه؟ اقلل ال price وبالتالي لو قللت ال price يبقى بالتالي ال MRP بتاعتي ال MP زاد لكن ال ال MR قل لو ده حصل بالنسبة ل ل ل لمجموعة من ال firms لو ما قدرت أقلل ال price لو أنا ال price قل بنفس النسبة زي الزيادة في ال MP يبقى ال MRP بتاعي هيبقى زي ما هو وال labor will not change صح؟ labor demand will not change طيب لو حصل انها خلت البرايس 
ماي غايرش برايس فيل زي ما هو يبقى بالتالي فعلا الزيادة في البرودكتيفيتي هترفع لي الـ MP وهترفع الـ MRP لأن ما حصلش تشينج في الـ MR يخليها تنزل وبالتالي I will end up increasing my labor demand عشان كده بنقول it always goes in goes into the same direction assuming what it does not cause an offsetting decrease in the product price another very simple determinant of labor here number of employers if we assume all other things constant, a change in the number of firms employing a particular type of labor will change labor demand in the same direction. فجأة كل investors سموا in investing in poultry production, صناعة الدواجن, is very very profitable. فبدأوا يفتحوا مصانع للدواجن فده هيزود الديماند على كل ليبر بيشتغل في الفيلد ده صح؟ فمجرد ان الامبلويرز عددها زاد هيزود الديماند على الوركرز ان ذيس فيلد. Another very important determinant is the price of other resources. انا لو بنفترض لو فرضنا ان انا تو ريسورسز اللي بتكلم عنهم مين اللي هم ليبر وكابيتال. فبنلاقي دايما ليبر وكابيتال ار نورمالي Substitutes in production. So, they sell them labor. We can sell them capital. They substitute each other. Has a degree of substitutability, and whether it's technically possible or not. But they are not just that. They are all machines. 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 هنا بنفرق ما بين ال relationship ما بين labor and capital for gross substitutes with gross complements with pure complements. Gross substitutes دي بيحصل فيها ايه؟ من ان من التسمية بتاعتها نفسها I can say what ان ال substitution effect فيها بيبقى very strong صح؟ يبقى بالتالي ال substitution effect لو كان more than the output effect you will substitution effect be only in low in wage low in price of capital nizzle okay you, uh, what will happen i have a very strong substitution effect if i will use more capital right we in the same time the increase the price of capital that did not result in having this output effect as strong as the substitution effect. يعني ال decline in the price of capital خلاني يبقى عندي output effect بتقولي زوجي ال output وبالتالي زوجي ال labor. Okay. لكن at the same time أنا بقول هنا substitution effect كان أقوى جدا. So I will start to use more capital than labor. يبقى دي at the end will make you always go in the same direction. يبقى لو price of capital قل a demand for labor high in. A good example of this here is security equipment. Cameras or the things that the most of the businesses are making, or even for the households, but they put cameras in their homes, instead of buying a security guard or buying a web, they use them. Okay. So the decline in the price of the security equipment helped the nest to start to reduce the demand for the night guards. We put the cameras to show light only one just to be better the guards that are present on all the gates of the business, right? Another type of relationship between the labor or capital here between the gross complements. Now, when I'm the gross complements, we have the output effect stronger than the substitution effect. And the two effects are good. The output effect and the substitution effect. But the output effect is more clear. So, if the price per capita rises, what will happen? You will start to have the substitution effect. And we will say, use capital more than labor. Help a little bit. But the output effect here is stronger. So, we will say, make use of this lower. Price and buy more capital 
instead of labor. A good example of this will be a decline in the price of computers. A decline in the price of computers resulted in, in, in most of the businesses better to buy more and more computers. And by buying more and more computers, the width a demand على computer programs and I have computers and I have programs that are only computers. Okay, but here the substitution effect is stronger than the output effect. Uh, sorry, output effect is stronger than the substitution effect. Sorry, and uh, before uh, we finish, I just want to tell you. Uh, I, I miss you. Work hard, and if you have any questions, lemuha. We can see if we can have a conference meeting by phone, a conference call. We can see if there is Zoom, if you have all of you, or if it is difficult. We can see if the real department, I am not sure if it was something like that, viable and available to all of you or not. لو كان ممكن نحدد معاد مع بعض باي ايميل ونتفق ان احنا نتقابل فيها عشان اللي عنده سؤال يستفيد الباقيين كلهم من الاجابه دي جود لك نيكست ويك هحط لكم انذر ليكتشر ريكوردد ليكتشر اي جو باي توبيك اكشلي نوت باي ليكتشر علشان انا دي كنت بقول حاجه ملمومه على بعضها واقول لكم ديسكفرز هاو ماني ليكتشرز ثانك يو اند باي باي